Hello guys, thank you for joining me for this Twin Flame reading. Today I'm going to be seeing what's going on with the Divine Masculines, what we need to know about the Divine Masculines and I will be getting a card for you Divine Feminines to give you some guidance as well and of course I'll be getting some communication from the Divine Masculines. Um, so thank you so much for all the new subscribers for joining me on my journey, joining my channel and supporting my channel. I'm so very grateful and thank you to all of you for taking the time out of your day to actually comment to tell me how you've been feeling if the reading resonates and sharing your love with me and your encouragement thank you so much my dream has come true and that's you know i wanted to do this channel because i wanted to be close to like-minded people and with people that are experiencing the same or similar situation to me um, so we can help each other because as you know this journey can be very painful and challenging at times and lonely um so thank you so much you've made my dream come true um i've got so much to share with you guys um the more confident i get i am getting more confident but as my journey unfolds i will be sharing a lot more with you there's lots i want to do with this channel and to share with you so um i'm very excited and i'm really happy to tell you that i've created my own deck um, so I'll be sharing that with you soon and you'll be able to purchase them as well. Um, so I won't be using my pots anymore. I'll be actually using my own deck. So I'm very excited. I will be doing a, a giveaway as well. So, um, I'll, I'll keep you updated with that when they arrive and, um, I'll share it with you. I, I, I might do an actual talking video as well, sharing it with you if I'm brave, because you know how much I hate talking into the camera, <laughs> but yeah, it's very exciting. Um, and thank you so much for making my dream come, dream come true. I'm going to start the reading with Work Your Light Oracle Deck for the Divine Masculines to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines. Um, and I do use the labels Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, so please don't be offended. It's just how I channel. Um, I do realise it's energy, so just put it into your situation, how it resonates with you. And always remember, only take what resonates, leave the, the rest behind. And it is your responsibility to do that. My readings are timeless as well. So it doesn't matter when you've clicked onto the reading. If you feel connected to me and you understand how I channel, because it is deep. Um, and the message resonates, it means it's for you. There are two videos that I have as well. Of me actually telling you a little bit about myself. And you actually get to see my face. <laughs> So if any of you guys, new subscribers, would like to see me and feel more connected to me, um, the videos are in the description box down below, but they do need to be updated. Um, one of them is from last year and lots of things have changed since then. And um, I think I've done one earlier this year, but I do, I will do one, guys. Um, so, yeah. If you would like a private meeting for a clearer message for your unique Twin Flame journey, um, just email me as well. I can book you in, guys. It's in the description box. Everything you need to know, guys. All the details are always in the description box down below. Right, what is it today that we need to know about the Divine Masculines? What's going on with the Divine Masculines today? We know that this week they are feeling this intense passion and desire to change their life. And they're feeling this passion towards the Divine Feminine. So what else is it they're feeling today? answer the call what is your soul calling you to do yeah <laughs> can you believe that guys this is exciting isn't it and at the bottom of the deck is the great gathering it's all coming together intuitive hits soul tribe yes it is all coming together it is all coming together so the divine masculines are being pushed to answer this that this calling <laughs> They are really being pushed to answer this calling. They're listening. They are listening to their soul voice because they know what's going on now. They do have this deeper understanding. They know that you are meant to be in each other's life. You belong with each other. They have chosen themselves. They're putting themselves first, which means they have chosen this love. And they have been preparing in this time. And, you know, if you are experiencing silence 
or there's a pause at the moment or any challenge is because the divine masculines are using this time to prepare and process everything and as i say in the silence or the pause that is when it's precious time it is the precious time and that means that so much is happening but it, for the divine feminine's point of view it can be very scary and very painful because you don't know what's going on and you're having to really find the strength within you to see beyond these illusions in the 3d living your everyday life um, but that is for you to have that experience as well so you can get rid of the you know this rejection the abandonment and um, jealousy or you know learning about patience all of those things you're having to release and you're having to feel them so you can release um, and it's about you being really pushed to trust and have faith in what you already know about this love allowing you to really feel this love and allowing yourself to feel it majority of the time and not allowing the ego to remove it from you anymore for you just to stick with your knowing managing learning about balance managing your emotions, your thoughts, and learning about what no longer serves you. Um, so the divine masculines are <laughs> being pushed to answer this call. <laughs> As I said, this passion, this desire to be able to express how they're feeling is really intense at the moment. And this is why, you know, they can feel, they can feel that they've, they are being pushed so much that they have got to do this. They, they don't know what to do with themselves. It's driving them crazy. And they, you know, they do want to do this, guys, but they're afraid. They don't know how to go about it. And this is what they have been preparing while they've been comfortable, getting comfortable with how they're feeling as well. You know, learning about this love and accepting this love. And they are enjoying this love now. They are smiling to themselves about this love now. It's just about they don't know how to come towards you. And this is so different for the Divine Masculines because they're not used to showing their authentic self, showing you the whole of them because they've hidden it for such a long time. And, you know, the Divine Masculines haven't been put in a situation where they felt comfortable enough before in their life. They haven't been able to trust anybody before. But they do know that they can trust you. They do know that you love them. As you know in my readings recently. So this calling is getting louder and louder. <laughs> and driving them crazy, as you know, guys. So let's see what it says. Answer the call. They are going to answer the call, guys. You know that when you're in your truth. You know that they're going to answer. When you remove your ego and you just be and you have this deeper understanding about your divine masculine and about this journey and the fact is this is about the relationship with yourself. This is about you. And once you are having this relationship with yourself and whatever you do for yourself, you're doing for your divine masculine, your divine masculine will feel these shifts and they will have the strength and the courage to come towards you, to show you who they really are. They will, because you're being truthful and being honest with yourself and you're not allowing the fear to take over. When you use, when you allow power, the power of love to take over your life and you remove the fear, your divine masculine will do the same thing because you're one. They're not separate from you. And this is why it's so important you have this realisation that they're not separate from you. It's one soul in two physical bodies. You're dealing with yourself. Right, let's see. Answer the call. Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearnings... You will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. Yes, heaven and earth. <laughs> Answering your soul's calling is not one a one-time thing, rather a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Oh my goodness. That is emotional, guys, isn't it? They do know. Yeah, they do know. They're just afraid. Whatever you are called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. Just say yes. 
Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step, but intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you are not most people. You are exactly in the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it's leading. You're just, you just need to take that next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it. And you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering the soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Can you believe what this is all said, guys? It's exactly what's going on. Hmm. You could be hearing communication from your divine masculine because this calling is just driving them crazy. They know what to do. They really want to do it. They really want to do this now. And they are trusting their intuition. They know that they're meant to be with you. They're not wanting to fit in anymore. They're wanting to be themselves. They want to be their authentic selves. They want to experience heaven and earth with you. They want to experience all of their dreams and desires. They know that they can achieve this now. The soul's calling is so powerful that divine masculines are going to just go for this. And all of the things that they have been worried about, the plan and they've got to do this and they've got to do that, they're gonna, they're just gonna leave that all behind because the love is so intense. And as I always say, the divine masculines are ready to explode. They're ready to explode. Whatever you're seeing in the 3D guys, they are ready to explode. They do want to have this experience. They do want to experience this new adventure, this new beginning. They want to make this change. They want to change everything in their life. They've learned about all of this and now it's time to put this into practice. And they will get the courage and the strength because God, the universe, will be protecting and supporting the divine masculines. At all times they will be given this strength and courage. So don't doubt, don't fear. So this is a really important time for you divine feminines to have compassion for your divine masculine and for you to really concentrate on yourself and how you're feeling because whatever's going on within you goes on with the divine masculines. To just focus on self and not focusing on when, how, where your divine masculine is coming towards you and what they are up to, what they're doing. It's, it's, it isn't about what the divine masculines are doing, it's about what's going on within you and when you believe, trust and you're in tune with this deep knowing that you have about this love, about this journey and what this journey is about, your divine masculine will do the same. So really, really be focused on self and how you're feeling and enjoy this love, enjoy this love. Don't allow the fear to cause you pain anymore. The only time we feel pain or despair is because we're allowing the fear to take over and we're thinking that our masculines aren't coming back. It's when we're not being truthful to ourselves and we're looking outside of ourselves for approval or confirmation of something that we already know ourselves. So we have to trust ourselves with this. Don't allow anybody or anything to distract what you already know. This love is real. You are love. You're one soul. This isn't a soulmate. This isn't a relationship with somebody else. This is a relationship with yourself. And yes, I do repeat myself, guys. And people have commented that before. But it's about... You do have to repeat yourself. You do have to go over things over and over again to get it into your head what this is about because of the intense love and how you're feeling because this is like no other relationship. <laughs> it's very hard to get your own head round. It is. I mean, you're, you're just longing for that physical person to come back to you because it's so powerful. This physical person that comes into your life, your other half of your soul, is what motivates you and gives you the strength to do this journey, to have this relationship with yourself, to learn the greatest love of all, and that is loving yourself. 
but it's not about the physical person. It doesn't matter what they're doing and what they're not doing. They're just reflecting back to you your fears and doubts and what you're scared of and things that you need to heal within you. Your divine masculine isn't doing anything to hurt you. Nobody can hurt you apart from yourself, what you're doing to yourself and what you're thinking and how you perceive things. It's about perception. And about knowing your worth. And I feel the divine feminine is you are, you've got this. And this is why the divine masculines are at this stage now. They're gonna to listen to this call name because they've chosen themselves, they've chosen this love. So all the things that we worry about, like the plan and everything, like I said, it has to go out the window. Because they do have trust, they do have faith that everything will unfold how it's meant to be. And then we have to just go with the flow. I always go by how I am during my readings. You know, I'm a very gentle, softly spoken person majority of the time, but sometimes, you know, my readings, I can be very quiet and soft and gentle. And then sometimes this power comes over me. So this is very powerful. It's very powerful what wants to come out of me today, what needs to be said for the Divine Masculine. So, and I always feel the Divine Masculine's energy so deeply, I understand so deeply about the divine masculines I, I am so in tune so in tune with the divine masculine some real oh my goodness guys it's very hot in the uk today so i'm very hot <laughs> and i've got the window shut because i don't want the noise to distract the you know like for the noise to be picked up on the reading as well so um, I'm getting a bit hot clusters. <laughs> We're not used to the heat in the UK, are we? So um, I'm going to be using George Blue Eyes Tarot's deck, his new deck. Um, and it's Divine Masculine that messages to the Divine Feminine. Um, the majority of you know George, but if you don't, Go and check his channel out. He's a divine masculine. He's Liz Harrison, guided by angels. Beautiful divine masculine. And he's created this deck. And it's amazing. What the divine masculines love to say to you today? Nice clear message. They've got a lot to say. They have got a lot to say, guys. I will always remember how special you are, yeah. Hmm. They're remembering how special you are. They can't stop thinking about you. Hmm. They can't think But Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. It hurts so much without you, yeah. It does hurt them so much. It does hurt them. Even though it comes across as if they're being cold and they don't care and they're getting on with their lives. They do hurt, guys. They do. And then when you're being honest with yourself, you know that. see what else comes on. I'm going to be using Liz's deck now, Divine Message, um, Divine Masculine Messages of Love. Um, and both of the channels are in my description box down below and on my, I featured them in my channel and they're featured channels as well. So they're both inspirational and they give me strength every single day. So, let's see what else the Divine Masculines want to communicate with you today, guys. They're remembering how special you are. They're thinking about it all the time. Because they can feel your energy and this calling, you know. It's just very intense this week for the Divine Masculines. I love it when you dance. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck is, I love you, yeah. Of course I love you. I love it when you dance. <laughs> so they might be thinking, you know, they're thinking about how special you are and they're maybe thinking about a special time when they see you dancing. Um, you just have to put this into your situation how it resonates with you guys. But um, they could be thinking about what it'd be like to see you dance because when you dance, you're free and you're so happy and you're so joyous and you just allowing yourself just to be yourself because music just makes you feel alive, doesn't it? So 
just put it like i said guys just put it into your situation but they love it when you dance i mean some of you could be dancers and um, there's so many different situations so or they're just remembering a time when they've they've seen you dance and it's standing out to them and it's a special moment for them and they know how special you are guys so just allow yourself to believe it you know that really anyway but Positive, yeah. <laughs> so that you know, the, today their energy is very positive. It is very positive because they're thinking about you. They're thinking about how special and how important you are to them. And this calling is just getting so intense. And thinking about when you dance, so very positive energy, high vibrational energy. The divine masculines could be experiencing today, which is really good because it is going to help them and push them to be brave and courageous to move things forward heart yeah they're in their heart space the heart chakra has been cracked open guys they're allowing themselves to feel the love like i always say so so let's see what the divine masculines have got to say today for my pots oh that one flew out so we get that one <coughs> Believe in me. <laughs> Believe in me. I can do this. Believe in me. Is what your divine masculine is saying. So believe in your divine masculine. They are capable. I'm sorry I didn't speak my truth. Yeah, they're sorry that they didn't speak their truth. But they weren't meant to speak their truth then. They weren't meant to speak their truth then. But they are saying sorry. And the reason why the Divine Masculines are saying sorry is because they're in that place now, because they are in their heart space. Because they're connected with their feelings, because they're allowing themselves to feel this love. This is why they're able to say sorry, that they didn't speak their truth. But remember, Divine Feminines, the reason why the Divine Masculines didn't speak their truth, because they weren't meant to. You were experiencing fear, and the Divine Masculines just reflected that back to you you was fearful that they didn't love you you was fearful that you'd got it wrong you was fearful that they were going to reject you you didn't feel worthy enough for this love you wasn't trusting yourself you wasn't putting yourself first so the divine masculines didn't speak the truth to you that's how it works because you're one they didn't speak their truth because they were but wanting to hurt you it's because it's because they wasn't having a relationship with themselves and they weren't allowing themselves to receive love because they didn't feel worthy so they didn't speak their truth because they were afraid and they didn't you know they, they didn't think that they deserved love like this they were scared of this love because it was so powerful so different and they didn't know how to cope Oh my goodness. Intense, isn't it, guys? Right, for the Divine Feminines, I'm going to be using the, the reminder cards to bring forth your beautiful Divine Inner Spirit, what you need to know today. What is it the Divine Feminines need to know today to help them stay focused, to believe, to trust, to be in their knowing? <laughs> I thought they already know about this love. To allow themselves to feel this love. What is it the Divine Feminines need to know? Nice, clear message, please. Inner child. So you could be experiencing inner child stuff today, guys. And at the bottom of the deck, how funny is that? Embrace the unknown. Yes, we have to embrace the unknown. We don't know when, how, where everything is going to, you know, this situation we were trying maskings, what's going to happen. That's the whole point. You need to let go of that. And just trust. Have faith. So the inner child card is, it's now time to connect with your inner child. There are so many ways to do this. You can play, have fun, create nurture, but the main message is for you to love yourself. Yeah. Love yourself and then you'll be loving your divine masculine. When you love yourself, you'll be really loving your divine masculine. How beautiful is that, God? 
Think about memories of when you were a child. Now visualise yourself in the here and now and meeting your inner child, giving that inner child a huge, big welcoming hug, a reassuring love, reaffirming to them that they are safe and everything is and everything is good. And the action to take is go play, have fun and don't take yourself too seriously. Let yourself be absolutely free and do not worry about what other people may think. It's time to truly live and love life. And the powerful affirmation is, I reconnect with my inner child and it feels wonderful. I'm so safe and so loved. Yes. Love yourself, guys, is the message for you today. And as I said, when you do that, you're loving your divine masculine because you're one. Give to yourself and you'll be doing that for your divine masculine. That's how it works, guys. And, you know, think about yourself as a child or, you know, how you felt as a child if you was feeling insecure, if there's a situation that comes up where you was feeling hurt and upset. Think about that child and hugging that child and making that child feel safe and loved. release anything that you know that's happened that has disturbed you maybe in the past as a child but love yourself <laughs> love yourself guys it's, it is as simple as that <laughs> isn't it that's as simple as that <laughs> anyway I really do hope you enjoyed this reading. And as I said, guys, thank you so much for your love and support. It means so much to me. Um, and if any of you do need extra support at the moment and you want to clear a message for your unique twin flame journey, just email me. It's in the description box down below. Um, so have some fun. Let your hair down. Free yourself from the fear. Life is about love. <laughs> Just do what you love and relax. Believe and trust and everything else just unfolds beautifully and you do experience all your dreams and desires. And so we will divine masculine. <laughs> right, guys, so thank you so much. You know that I think about you and I'm sending my love, my support, my strength and light to you and I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh. What's your soul saying? Oh.